there, it's Katie from Addicted to DIY, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to build this beautiful X-Panel coffee table. You can find the full tutorial for this project and the printable plans, which include the materials and cut list, on my website, addictedtodiy.com. Let's get started. For this project, I selected the Heritage coffee table legs from Osborne Wood Products. I've included a direct link in the description below. For the aprons and stretchers, I wanted them to have square edges. On my table saw, I ripped down 2x4s to turn them into 2x3s and 2x3s to make 2x2s. I also pre-drilled all of my pocket holes with my Craig jig. On a flat level surface, I set the legs upside down and marked one half inch in from the outside corners where the apron pieces will be attached. I set the apron pieces up at the marks and glued and clamped them into place. I used two and a half inch pocket screws to attach them to the leg. For the stretchers, I followed the same steps by measuring one half inch in from the outside corner. There are two by two vertical supports on the sides and ends of the coffee table, which I used as spacers when attaching the stretchers. Again, I line the stretchers up to the pencil marks, gluing and clamping them into place, then attaching them with two and a half inch pocket screws. I followed the same steps for the ends of the coffee table to finish off the frame. I also attached the vertical stretchers on the ends and the sides of the frame with wood glue and two and a half inch pocket screws. For the X pieces, I set my one by twos flush against the side of the frame to determine and mark the length and angles for each of the pieces. I cut them on my miter saw and dry fit them into place. I used my first long side of the X as my template for the remaining parts of the X panels. For the shorter pieces, I again placed them flush against the sides of the frame and marked where they met in the middle to again determine the length and the angle. I drilled pocket holes into each end of the X pieces, making sure that the holes would be facing down when the table is fully assembled. Drilling pocket holes in an angle can be a little tricky, and I'll be sure to share a tutorial and video on that with you all very soon. Fit all of the pieces into the table frame to prep for assembly. The easiest way to assemble all of the pieces is with the table upside down. Because of the tight angles, I used my offset drill adapter to drive the pocket screws into place. You can find a link to this tool in my blog post. I definitely encourage you to find an extra set of hands to help with this next step. Assembling the X pieces by yourself is a little tricky, but it can be done. The best way I found was to drive each of the screws in about halfway, then begin alternating between top and bottom, middle and outside, driving all of the screws in completely. For the top, I ripped down 2x8 boards to make them 2x6s. I marked and drilled where I wanted my pocket holes to go, then glued and clamped the top together. I attached the boards with 2.5 inch pocket screws. Once the top was assembled, I sanded it down with 120 grit, followed by 220 grit sandpaper. Now it's time to finish the table. I wanted a different look this time and used a layered stain technique. I began by applying a coat of wood conditioner, then the first layer of stain in Golden Oak by Minwax. I immediately followed that with a coat of Minwax Weathered Oak, then a thin coat of Minwax Special Walnut. I sealed the base and the top with polyacrylic. I used my Finish Max paint sprayer for the first time to apply polyacrylic and it made the steps so much easier and faster. I used three coats of polyacrylic sanding lightly in between with 220 grit sandpaper. To attach the top, I used desktop fasteners, which I purchased on Amazon. These allow for the wood to expand and contract with changing weather conditions and humidity. I traced around the fasteners with a pencil, then used a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit and drilled 1 8 inch deep holes. I attached the fasteners with 1 and a quarter inch wood screws, then centered the tabletop over the base and attached it with one and a quarter inch wood screws as well. And that's it. Again, you can find all of the details for this project on my blog, addictedtodiy.com, along with the printable plans, materials list, and cut list. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe below to be notified of new project videos and tutorials. For more projects like this, along with printable plans, be sure to visit my website, addictedtodiy.com.